Polite Inquiries, George DeBell, Jared Kimber, Lady Stand. Aaron McCarthy says, how can the English top five possibly explain them getting outscored by a debutant number 11 with a dodgy hamstring? They can't explain it, can they? I mean, they shouldn't be able to explain it. And if they can explain it, they shouldn't. There are lots of questions England have got to answer. How can so many players, who we know are good players, collectively lose form at the same time? How could a fast bowler who was good enough to win selection for England not get through 10 overs in the first innings and not hit a barn door in the second innings? You won't answer one question ever, will you? Well, they have to answer all these questions and they all come down to the environment. Mohammed Issam. Hello. Why is Boyd Rankin so highly rated in England? Gary Anderson. Surely Finn would have been better bet than Rankin. You love Boyd Rankin. Yeah. I mean, you, you basically were out there having a spell with him today. Yeah, I was living every ball, that's true. You've got to look at an environment where you throw someone into a test and they're in that sort of form. Yeah. It, ultimately, the individual has to take responsibility. That's true. Uh, but he's better than that. They're all better than this. Why is it that they're all playing so far below? If you've got so many people playing below their ability, I think you've got to ask questions about the environment. You're very dour today. And hang dog? Yeah. Not, not yet. Rob Wildman says, why Hello. have Cook, KP, Bell, the 300 plus tests in total failed so badly? Would you blame the coaches? It's, what I find interesting about that is you say, would you blame the coaches? But you've also said they've played over 300 tests. These guys, some of them are going to be coaches in five minutes time. Three Australian seamers in particular have bowled really well. And, and that's got to be the first thing you say. Then you've got to look at the individual players. But if a coach, however good they are, is unable to get the team playing properly, then what are they doing? Cook is smart enough. Like I said, he's going to be a batting coach, if not a coach, when he retires. KP is KP's given masterclass is showing how he explains his batting. And Ian Bell has talked to me, you know, for Crick Info, and he talks through batting as well as anyone I've ever talked to. They're not idiots. Ghost says, Ghost deep. Why do Aussie commentators go so over the top with praise? Australia haven't won away yet. They've also uh, won two of the last five test series, I believe. Um, you have to understand something about Channel 9. I get this a lot. Uh, Channel 9 is different than most commentators because it's free to air. It's not actually commentating for cricket fans, it's commentating for general TV fans who happen to have the cricket on. They are about to win an Ashes Series fight, though. It doesn't happen very often. You know, enjoy the moment, why not? Dutch Bird Kate, I know many people who have spent 20,000 quid on this Ashes tour. Can I ask the ECB for a refund? Well, do you want a whip round for people who are spending 20 grand on a cricket trip? <laughs> if you can afford to spend 20,000 on a quick Come on, it happens. Trip, you can it happens. It happens. You can't, well, you can't guarantee they're going to win. I mean, how does that even work? I mean, you, you've got, it makes the winning sweeter when it happens. I think you just got to accept that. Look, that's one of the wonderful things about sport. It teaches you to win and lose, and this is part of it. And also, they, they spent 20,000 quid, and they're going to be able to moan about this for about 30 years. It's still worth it. M. Tara says, why is the English team so unlikable? K. Tara. Tara. Also, what? have England considered surrender? Well, I mean, they haven't considered it. They're oh, practicing I saw it right that now, one. A very very long name you haven't got anywhere near that have you um, I, I said his twitter handle i'm suspecting that he doesn't he's not going to like england if they invent rainbows and a cure for cancer i'm going to go out on a limb here and say that every series i've ever covered at one stage or another i've been asked why one of the teams if not both of the teams are so unlikable ian says <laughs> ian, what am i meant to do with that is there a case when batting on green pitches to reverse the batting order, or are the top orders playing rubbish? No, and they shouldn't have sent a night watchman in last night. Sorry to jump in. You're but right. For God's sake, a batsman's job is to come in and play. Why would you send in a number 10 or 11 to face what might be the fastest bowler in the world at the moment? I don't no. think the pitch is that green. I, I, the only time I've ever seen that really happen is on really wet pitches back in uncovered cricket days. I don't think it works. I mean, they, they should be batting. And I honestly don't believe that the pitch is playing up that much. It's playing up more now and when Australia batted than when England batted anyway. But it doesn't make sense. The job of a batsman is to have a technique to be able to cope with these things. Knuckle Pundy says, I oh, don't. Oz's go to UK, lose 3-0. Poms in Oz, almost 5-0. India losing 4-0 at both places doesn't sound too bad now. Yeah, it does, because it's 8-0 in, in eight tests. How is it not bad? It, uh, that, it couldn't I, be worse, I, I, could it? I really don't understand that at all. I'm sorry, you, you can justify it any way you want. There's a reason India have completely changed their team. So you what, England are going to have a tough summer against India this year, because I think the India team looks a whole lot better. And uh, from an England perspective, I'm not at all optimistic. Sledges and Stats says, is the stupid leave the new hook to deep square? Well, I think when, when you've got 
as many batsmen as England have leaving straight balls, that is surely a sign of a lack of confidence, isn't it? Philip Brown says, who would win in a cricket match between the members of the Clash and the Stranglers versus the Jam, Spandu Ballet and Rick Astley? It's the question we've all been asking all day. We're never going to give you up, Phil. Willie Wufta says, has anyone ever had as consistent a miserable look on their faces as Broad Rankin on their debut? Yeah, it's been... Have they? Well, Bryce McGaines wasn't exactly cute. And actually, maybe he was Simon Kerrigan. Simon didn't Kerrigan. Have many belly laughs in his either, but there's been something about Boyd Rankin that's been pretty painful to see. All I can say is he's, he and Kerrigan, they're so much better than this.